Welcome to the Greenwood Hub Art Studio. Today's project is going to be keychains. I spelled out the word Zuri for Zuri Designs because we are unlocking our imagination with these keychains. Using my monogram set, these monogram sets are letters a and B and as you can see they have a surrounding frame you can put any letter inside of these frames and they're beautiful then we're moving on to set C to H and you can see the mold sizes here the letters are just magical Zuri Designs made this collection from all things medley and the letter monograms are gorgeous. Here's my next set. I'll be using the letter I to spell out Zuri. Here's O to T. Oh, so, so you can see I'm going to be using the letter R. And finally, our letters U to Z. And I'll be using letters U and Z. Now that we've been through these molds, let's start our project. Mixing my site A and B of my amazing resin, I am now pouring on the letters. And you can see the drying process. It turns white once you finish pouring for 10 minutes. I'm using, to make my keychains, a, a steel rule die cut from Super Dent. And this is the keychain form that they have in this die cut. I'm also using real leather with the same color as the Zuri molds that we usually create with and I think this adds a really nice touch. I'm going to put this um, die cut with the leather on my die cutting machine. It's a Spellbinders, but you can um, use whatever die cut machine you have. These, these die cuts are pretty, pretty easy to use in any machine, I think. I would think, anyway. There we go. Here's my die cut leather chain keychain you can see the shape it's quite nice this uh, steel rule die cuts uh, thick thick materials so you're safe next I'm going to go through the process of using some rivets for my keychain I have everything laid out here so you can see the process is simple. The rivets have two parts to it and uh, you're going to need a little hammer to hammer in the, the rivets after you have made a little hole on, uh, on your leather so the rivets can go inside of it. It's a very uh, simple process, nothing too complicated. I hope you enjoy this process.
Here's all my keychains ready to be glued. I'm using E6000 contact cement glue for this project. I find that this is the best glue to make my keychains durable through time and somewhat waterproof as well. So I am ready to glue both sides of my leather pieces. I apply this glue very evenly when I'm putting on my leather and you can see the process as I'm doing here. I'm just applying it very thinly, a thin layer. It's um, like I said, it's a very good glue. I hope you enjoy the process. And now I'm demolding my letters, starting out with the letter Z, moving on to U. Next we have letter R. And finally my I to spell out Zuri. For this project, I'm also going to use waxes and it's going to be Zuri Designs waxes starting with the Bora Bora, the Phoenix Blaze, and the Venetian Gold. I'm also going to apply gesso on my letters as a base so I can put my wax last. And uh, this concludes our project today. I hope you have enjoyed it. Follow me for more inspiration and more projects and see you soon.